Animals inhabit pretty much any house, it's a fact. If the owners of the house don't see them, it just normally means that these roommates are very sneaky and good at playing hide and seek. Well, hide primarily. Most house insects are completely harmless, but certain species can pose a serious threat, not just for your food and belongings, but for you as well. Today, we're going to tell you about the most common disgusting neighbors we often unknowingly share our living space with. Maybe a few of them are even secretly watching this video together with you. Let's get it on. Wood lice. Wood lice normally live in the bathrooms of ground floor apartments. First of all, they are not actually insects. In fact, they are crustaceans. But their lifestyle resembles that of a cockroach more than any of their closer relatives. Normally, they only appear in flats with constant elevated humidity. For example, when there is a pipe leak. These creatures are good indicators of all sorts of plumbing problems and leakages. Bed bugs. They bite almost exclusively humans. These insects don't have wings and settle in big groups in sofas and mattresses, under baseboards and mouldings, and in all sorts of cracks. They normally bite at night, and mass biting can provoke serious allergic reactions, especially in young children. Cats and dogs don't interest bed bugs enough to bite them. Fleas. These insects are less picky when it comes to their host, or food, which is the same in this case. These very small jumping insects bite primarily during daylight hours. They can bite cats, dogs, rodents. They won't shy away from humans either. It can be pretty hard to kick them out of the house. Sometimes fleas get to the apartment from the basement. Yet another reason why ground floor apartments are often cheaper. Lice. The small white or grayish insects live in underwear, bedding, or head-covered parts of the human body. In the open areas of the apartment, you can only find them if they've just dropped from their host's body. Cockroach. These guys are the most known and the most easily recognizable. They feast on food waste, most commonly live in kitchens, and can carry dirt with pathogens and microbes on their brushy legs. An easy way to get cockroaches is to leave your food and food waste easily accessible have a constant water supply and hiding spots. But if you keep the kitchen, as well as any other zones of the house free of food waste, and rush to provide a quick and not very heroic death to the first brave scouts, <laughs> your apartment has a chance to stay cockroach free, even if they infest your neighbors. Pharaoh ant. Pharaoh ants are highly organized insects. They arrange their nest or ant hill inside the apartment or outside it, and while a few females are laying eggs, workers take care of the young and fill the stocks with food. It is common for such stocks to start rotting, and the insects themselves feel as at ease to climb over waste and garbage as they do over the food in your kitchen. So, take immediate action if you notice them. Also because they are one of the insects that are the most difficult to get rid of. House Centipede House centipede is a common guest, or more precisely roommate for many people who live in private countryside houses, cottages, and less common city apartments. Due to their considerable size, repugnant appearance, and high speed of movement, this insect can easily scare the hell out of your family. But in fact, these insects don't mean any evil. They often visit your apartment from the street or from your neighbors in search of food, which includes ants and bedbugs. If they find a steady source of food, they may consider moving to you definitively. Most often, they live in semi-basement floors and basements, from where they go to hunt and can patrol all the rooms of the house. Harvestmen. These weird creatures with a round body and long legs make chaotic webs in the corners of your apartment to catch prey, just like spiders, their close relatives. Harvestmen prefer to live near the windows and in dark corners and prefer to spend their time hanging from a web thread upside down. They eat small insects, plants, and rotting animal corpses, if such a prize appears. Clothes Moth A true plague of fur coat storages, wardrobes, and kitchen closets. While the pale adult moths fly around the house and annoy you with their already quite unthreatening presence, their dear kids are biting labyrinths through your food and clothes made of natural or half-natural fabric. The larvae are the greatest pests here. Adult specimens in most cases don't eat and spend the precious time of their short life laying eggs. Young larvae can get into closed jars, packs, and boxes, and then feed on the food they find there for very long. And the last creature for today is the silverfish, which is, of course, not a fish, 
but another insect. The common silverfish is a small wingless insect. They are night creatures and hide during the day. If they are caught with light, they try to escape as soon as possible, moving fast with short stops on the way. They feed on starch or sugar, containing substances of plant origin, sugar, flour, starch, glue, book covers, and so on. You can bring one home from a warehouse on a roll of toilet paper or paper towels. They are harmless for humans and pets, and don't transmit diseases. Silverfish are believed to be one of the most ancient creatures currently living on our planet. Its ancestors, which looked almost exactly the way it looks now, were already here during the Paleozoic era. So there is no wonder if a silverfish is watching this video from behind your back, nostalgically sighing about the good old times. And in the next second it will brag to its pals, focused on chewing your sugar, that humans aren't a problem for them, because they saw dinosaurs dying and will probably survive us as well. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.